Hello friends, welcome to Tutorials Point. In this video, we will see first mainframes program. Now we have a simple agenda. In this, we will first code and then execute the COBOL program on mainframes platform. Now these are the steps. First of all, we need to code a COBOL program in any of the PDS members. Then we use JCL to compile and link edit it. The output of this JCL will be a load module. Then that load module will be used by the another JCL which is used to run the COBOL module. Then check the output of the program in spool. Now let's code and execute a simple program. In this video, I will show you the execution of a very simple hello world program. Do not worry about JCL and COBOL module programming. We will cover everything in JCL and COBOL videos. This is just to give you a glimpse of a working program in mainframes. First of all, I will tell you the process of execution of a program. We will code the COBOL module. I, I have already done that. Let me open the program. So this is my PDS where I have done coding for the module. This is a very basic program which will display hello world and welcome to tutorials point. So these are two display statements. Exit. Next is we need to compile this program. We use JCL to compile a program. So we'll go to JCL PDS. This is the JCL PDS. We'll open it. So this is the JCL to compile the program. We use IGYCRCTL utility to compile and we use HEWL utility to link edit. So here we, we need to mention the program name. Hello is our program and this is the PDS. Then this, this is the link edit step. The load of the program will be created in this PDS. So this is an existing PDS and the load will be created in this PDS. Then after compile, we need to execute it. So for execution we have this JCL. So in this we have given the PDS name of load like from where it will pick the load and the program name hello. And then we will check the spool to see the output. I will first submit the compile job. To submit a job, you need to write SUB and then you need to press enter. So here you can see the message job compile A submitted. Press enter again. Wait for few seconds. Press enter. So here you can see max CC is equal to 0. So it is maximum completion code. In mainframes, if completion code is 0, then it means there is no error. Press enter again. So it means our COBOL module have been compiled successfully. So we'll check the load. So this is our load PDS. So we'll open it. So this is the load. This is in machine language. We'll use this load to execute the program. Open the JCL again. So J hello, this is the JCL to execute the hello program. We'll open it and we'll submit it. SUB submit enter. Here you can see 
this job has been submitted press enter again so here you see max is equal to 0 it means our module have has been executed successfully press enter again now we'll see the output of the program which we can view in this pool so we'll go to the home page go to m more enter go to stsf5 enter then this st status of job enter so we'll search our job you can identify the job by the job name given in the jcl so this is the job name j hello so type question mark in front of this to open the members inside this press enter so these are the members which are present inside that job so here to check the output go to sysout so type s and press enter so this is the output hello world welcome to tutorials point we'll go back to home screen so this is how we execute a program in mainframes in mainframes overview we have covered the basic commands and utilities to make you familiar with mainframes environment. Keep on practicing. Thank you.